One of the biggest contributors to our own personal carbon footprint is our home and the energy that we use to heat and cool it. So if we want to make a difference, that's a very good place for us to start. We start Lesson 18 with a gallery walk where students share their PSAs from the last lesson. Students can either write comments to peers on post-its or record questions in their science notebooks. After a whole class debrief, it's time to return to our unit roadmap. Focus on the two houses in the middle and ask, why is house B cooler than house A? When students bring up insulation, show the various possible insulation materials that they've brought from home. Which one would be best to keep the house warm? Their next task is to plan an investigation to compare the materials. The teacher guide will get you oriented. Guide your students to compare two identical containers and use pocket lab weather temperature sensors to determine how much each one warms up. Students will need to come up with a method for using their insulation either inside or outside the container. Then they'll figure out a system for using the heat lamp. Make sure that they're careful to make this a fair test by placing the containers in spots where each one always gets an equal amount of light. In lesson 19, we start class by reviewing their investigation plan and then describe the minimizing thermal energy transfer investigation report handout that they're going to complete to document their work. Then it's time to conduct the investigation to figure out which insulators work best. And this activity builds right into our culminating experience.